I was promoting Mitchell Trubisky for a long time. I said, look, this is a guy who is failing because he's in the wrong system. You bring him into the Niners system, he would flourish. And the way I look at this, basically two systems in the NFL. There is the conventional under center, two conventional under center, uh, Shanahan McVeighish offense, right? You, you see it in Cleveland, you see it in Minnesota, and the new age shotgun pistol quarterback running spread college style offense that you see in Philly, you see in Baltimore, you see in New England, you see in Chicago until recently, and you see in basically uh, Kansas City, Arizona. So Trubisky, to me, is a really good fit in the sh the Shanahan type, type offense, the conventional under center play action pass offense. Because why? Because he's big and he has a strong arm and he can throw down the field uh, and he can hold on to the ball. He has the mobility to hold the ball a long time in the pocket and scramble around behind the line of scrimmage and throw down the field. He's not a good fit in the thing that Doug Peterson's running in Philly, which is what Matt Nagy runs, which is stand in the shotgun all the time and throw little quick passes off little quick play action RPO stuff from the gun. Not He's not good for that because what, the thing with that is those quarterbacks – have to be running threats because the whole thing is if you're in the shotgun all the time, where's your run game? If it's just the running back, that's a pretty a predictable soft running game. You know, if he's offset to the right, you know he's running to the left. There's not a whole lot of blocking combinations, there's not a whole lot you can do there, and it stinks. And that's why Matt Nagy's run game always stinks because you have this shotgun RPO offense where the quarterback is not really built to do that. I mean, he's not going to run 10 times a game, and if he does, he'll get hurt. Trey Lance can do that. Justin Fields can do that. You see it over in Philly. Just, uh, Jalen Hurts can run that much. He's built to run. He's basically built like a running back. If you have a guy like that, that offense is great. But Mitchell Trubisky doesn't do that. He's not that kind of a runner. You have to use it. If you're going to have an offense like that, you've got to use your quarterback as a basically a part-time running back. And that's not Trubisky. So all of a sudden, they scrap Matt Nagy's play calling and get Trubisky under center and basically try to have a knockoff Rams offense, and he's good. And they score points. I, mean, he, I don't know if he'll win an MVP, but all, I said he could be I said he could be Ryan Tannehill in this kind of offense, and he's doing it right now. So that's a long preamble to say that I don't think he's going to be available anymore. Forget Mitchell Trubisky. Is there anyone else, since I was right about that, who kind of fits that criteria that the Niners could take off the scrap heap who's been made to look like a bum – because of the coach and scheme he's in. Well, yeah, Carson Wentz. It's the same exact thing. You see what's happening in Philly. Jalen Hurts is a way better fit for that shotgun offense because with Wentz back there, there's no run game. You know he's not going to keep it and run uh, the zone read. Maybe we'll do it once a game. Hurts, Hurts will do it 10 times a game. He'll do it 15 times a game. And that's that's a full run game you got to stop with a quarterback who could go one way, uh, a running back who could go another way. You got to respect that. Now you don't have a one-dimensional offense anymore. With Wentz in that offense, it's a one-dimensional offense. You have no run game. With Hurts in the offense, it's a full offense. It works. So get Wentz out of there. And I've always said you put Wentz on Cleveland this year, they'd be doing the same things. They'd be even better. He's a better quarterback than Baker Mayfield. Remember Baker last year, how bad he was? It was the same thing. Freddie Kitchens was trying to run that college spread RPO baloney. Making, making, uh, making Baker Mayfield stand in the shotgun all the time and throw those little dink and dunk passes, giving him no run game. It doesn't work. Now you just put him under center, give him a running game, let him throw play action passes off of that. Boom. He's got the arm to pull it off. Boom. Uh, so yeah, Carson Wentz is another, I don't know if, if he's beyond repair, but to me, I mean, the injury thing's a little overblown. He hasn't missed that much time. To me, he's a guy who is just lacks confidence, kind of like Trubisky two months ago or Alex Smith before Jim Harbaugh got a hold of him. So if they want to get rid of him, I think the Niners can get him. And that may be their, the thing. Remember, the Niners need more than one quarterback. They need a vet and a rookie and maybe a third guy, too. So the vet could be Carson Wentz. 
and he's really expensive, but the Niners, if you, if you trade him with a post June one designation, he becomes much more movable for Philly. All of a sudden it would only cost them 9 million in dead cap. That's handled that they could do that. And then for the Niners, I think he'd be about 25 million uh, against the cap for them. And then I think it would go down about 23 after that in 2022. So uh, he's an option. I wouldn't do it. I just like Kyle Trask. He's young. He's cheap. I believe he's going to be good. I would go that route. But the veteran quarterback the Niners are going to pursue, I think it's going to be Carson Wentz because he has the same sit- situation as Trubisky where he's being he's in the wrong he's in the wrong scheme. He, he's going to do a lot better in a McVay Shanahan type offense. He's available. Shanahan is on record as loving him, loving him. I mean, he said it a couple of months ago when they played him that he's was the best player in the league a few years ago, and he still looks the same guy to him. And that all the interceptions and bad stuff is not really his fault. But he said that. So I think it's going to be the guy they go after. I don't know if they'll ultimately be able to get him. It'll be probably pretty difficult. But that's going to be the guy they pursue. And you know what? It'll probably work. Carson Wentz in this offense under center, actually being able to throw down field off play action. You understand how open guys are in this offense? He can hit. I've seen him in person. That throw he made to Travis Fulgham to beat the 49ers was a dime that went about 60 yards in the air when you uh, count the hypotenuse. It wasn't just deep. It was also to the sideline. It was amazing. He has an amazing arm. It's way stronger than any arm any Niners quarterback has ever had in my lifetime. I mean, he's really athletic. I think Kyle Shanahan, he would be fantastic. There's so much that Shanahan can manufacture for him to make him look good. So that's what I'm thinking. Carson Wentz, since Trubisky may not be the option, look for the Niners to pursue Carson Wentz. I'm not saying it's the right thing to do. I'm not because he's very expensive. Very, they got to find a way to make him cheaper. You can't give up too much in, in the trade for in terms of draft picks, and you got to find a way to get that contract down. Anyway, Wentz, that's who Shanahan's going to want. I bet you. I bet you. Stafford, too. I just don't see the Lions getting rid of Stafford. I mean, he's good. Wentz is, is benched. They do not like Wentz in Philly. They're going to, they want to move on from him. It's just a financial thing. Stafford, everyone likes Stafford. Everyone, no one's like, hey, Stafford's the problem in, in Detroit. So I just feel like that's not going to happen.